What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Energy Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Shows. Brian is starting to pick up the talk. Spider-Man 4, we got our director, Destin Daniel Cretton. Now we hear, and this is official, I believe, Brian, that Tom Holland has signed up for another three, another three films plus some appearances in the next Avengers films, correct? Uh, yes, there's a sort of a broad-based agreement for this, which is interesting. All right, so, so the recent rumors indicate that Tom Holland's future in the Spider-Man with the Spider-Man um, Spider-Man character in the cinematic universe is uh, is set to expand significantly. Brian, this uh, collaboration, I guess Tom Hardy is going to make a, a final appearance, possibly in the next Spider-Man. Brian, they haven't mentioned the bag. I would assume is going to be astronomical. But what do you think, Brian? What do you think of all of this going on? Tom Holland is there for another three films. Uh, He's going to possibly play that Tony Stark role of appearing in other people's and getting paid a grip to do it. What do you think about the Spider-Man character uh, for the next several years, Brian? Tom Holland said he would only come back if the story was good. If it's, it was if it was gonna evolve into something better. And you already said that Tom, um, not Tom Watts, uh, wasn't him? Um, John Watts. John Watts said this ain't never gonna. The reaction, go see No Way Home in the theaters. The, go see those clips of everybody reacting. It's not happening again. He's already said it. it's not happening. Again. But they're making it, they're trying to make it happen, Brian. What do you think about this? Well, look, when we did our Avengers draft, this is why Tom Holland was my number one overall pick. This is it right yeah, here. Because yeah, yeah. they can't do it without they can't do it without him. He knows yeah. that. His agent knows that. Studio knows that. But you know what? I think I view everything that's happening here. I have to view it. I think it's a net good news. That's my overall take for for a very simple reason, which is the if you if we take the rumored parts of this right so they are putting together a calendar to allow him to shoot spider-man 4 his movie and avengers doomsday at the same time in part because his part in avengers doomsday shockingly enough is much bigger than his part in either in infinity war or endgame number one overall pick that's what i said however More broadly, Sony and Marvel are close on a new deal that would allow him to appear in multiple MCU movies beyond solo Spider-Man films, and Marvel Studios would retain the oversight they have had over his work. That, to me, look, we've complained about Kevin. We've pointed out all the flaws of Kevin. But man, you give me a choice of Kevin overseeing this, or Sony overseeing this, uh, I'm taking damn. Kevin a hundred times out oh, of a hundred. So listen, I trust. That's why you gotta look at this as good. You gotta look at it as net good news. And also, uh, the original writers from from No Way Home are on this too. So that's also good news, Brian. For and maybe the, the clue week. was Cretton. Maybe the clue is when Cretton jumped. Maybe that was the sign that Marvel had won the seeming power struggle. Remember, because there was a lot of talk that Sony wanted big, big, bigger, wanted to kind of rule the roost here. And they they always do this. They always want to break free. And then push comes to shove at the 11th hour. Someone seems to talk some sense into Sony that like, look at your work, man. You don't want that. You don't want that. You those guys over there are the ones who are getting you paid too. Word, yo. That's like... It'll be a, if I was talking to them, it would be a frustrating conversation. Like, yo, look at Madam Webb, yo. Are you kidding me, yo? Are you kidding me, yo? Morbius, right? Morbius? And then you have the nerve to try to release it again? Are you kidding me, yo? Come on, man. But I, I wanted to say this, that I think although Kevin hasn't done right by a a few people and he's made his mistakes i think he is still he still has this vision for where marvel can go 
And I think the awfulness, so some of the awfulness that we've gotten has been Kevin not being able to really oversee some of these projects. So yes, I'll trust Kevin Feige to really continue or try at least to give us something good, thoughtful, well thought out, especially with a character that has been, that hasn't really missed Brian. And I think him, him having Spider-Man gives him a lot of opportunity to do some great things. It's a lot of great collaborations and, and, and cameos and things of that nature. Well, it makes me optimistic to your point about the character not missing. It makes me optimistic that we are going to get friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man four, because one of the best decisions they made in no way home was the way they ended it. They took him back to roots and they set the stage for something smaller with real emotion and real stakes. And this gives me the hope that that's the movie we're going to get. And if that's the movie we're going to get, that movie can be a big hit. Him trying to rekindle that romance with MJ. There's been a lot of interesting conversations regarding that, Brian. She may not know Peter Parker, but she still remember that swing with Spider-Man is just, she doesn't know who she did it with, really. Who, she doesn't know that it's Peter Parker. So she still knows that there's a Spider-Man and that she had a relationship or has some connection with Spider-Man, right? So those things, Brian, to me are very interesting. And I think having it play out in the movies and that that whole journey with her excellent excellent idea and, and and choice if they decide to go that route and and yeah. add that element of it in it well they clearly also i mean they clearly jacob Batalon is there to someday be hobgoblin right i mean that has to happen and i think the relationship that they've built up with those characters that will also now be reset I mean, I don't necessarily care about like Hobgoblin, but I care about the relationship between Ned and Peter that they've built over the course of these movies. And if they're going to turn that into sort of, you know, longtime friends who are now sort of don't know each other, but, you know, Peter does, and now they're going to fight. I mean, there's emotion to that. Like, I'm willing to see that. So I yeah, hope make it work. Really though. Yeah. yeah, totally. I'm just saying, but like... They these are things that clearly they had in mind from the beginning. Why have Ned Leeds at all if you're not going to someday do that? Yeah. Um, yeah. So this at least gives you the opportunity for Marvel to pay that off the way that they intended. Um, it avoids, hopefully, the game of one-upsmanship on No Way Home, which to John Watts's point is literally impossible. And yeah, like I said... The, the the MCU side of this, the Avengers side of this, desperately needs Tom Holland to be front and center for the Avengers movies. Desperately. And like there is room for growth, right? He was the wide-eyed kid, literally, in Endgame, when he's clutching the, the gauntlet, right? And Captain Marvel drops down and helps him. There is growth there. He should not be that kid having gone through all of that, if he comes back for Doomsday and Secret Wars, he should be one of the veterans, one of the yeah. leaders. And that yeah. there's, there's, there's room there for the character. One comment regarding the Hobgoblin, Brian, is if his character, Brian, can make it believable enough for us to believe he is a threat, can we take him seriously? Because to me, it can turn off, it can turn into... I don't believe Ralph Macchio can beat me. I can't. I don't. I don't believe he can beat me. I, I, his character can't beat me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so is Ned gonna give you that sense of a threat? That is the question. Can he turn sinister? Can he? Is it believe? Is it is it believable? That's a, a bumpy road, I think, and it has to be proven. Because if it, if it does not, if that doesn't work, Brian, then that's an L. That's yeah, an L. I agree. I agree. It's not a layup, but yeah, you know, given Holland's age, how old is he? He's the early thirties now, like 31, 32. So this would presumably be a deal that would take him basically into his forties. Mm -hmm. Presume that 
the transition to miles would also occur under the auspices of this deal, right? I mean, that would almost have to happen somewhere along the way. Here. But will it be a transition to miles as, as well as a transition of the character to Sony to handle and no longer Kevin be a part of that next iteration? That's I think my if, concern. I think if Kevin's not the head of Marvel, Sony's running it. Don't you and think? Like he's a big enough, yeah, he's got yeah, enough stroke yeah, in that room to make, win yeah. that battle. But the successor will not. And I fear for the for the character of Miles Morales in Sony's hands. Look at what they've done so far. Well, the animated version were fine. That that yeah. actually has, he's done he's been great in that. Yes, but, yes. So, but live action. Yeah, the thing I agree. Is Brian. There's so much money involved with Spider-Man that you have too many cooks in the kitchen wanting to, 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 to be in it, to be a part of it. And it just, look at people trying to, Madam Web, you know? <laughs> look at Did you say to, Web? Take <laughs> 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 it get over it. It's like, yo, but look at the attempt, Brian. They attempted this. They attempted with Morbius. And now we're going to see Craven. It's just a you disaster. So you heard the buzz on that? I've heard that I'm it's not, good. Not, right? So that's, that's what's what out I've there. heard. What's that out there is that it's good. And what's out there is now, it is Sony, right? But what's out there is that like Sony is like, <laughs> we got it. Like, we got the thing. Like, I don't believe you, man. I'm like, y'all releasing this at Christmas. <laughs> I feel like this is coal in the stocking waiting to happen, but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, nah, nah. I don't believe, I don't believe. I've heard too much good stuff said about what Black Adam was supposed to be, We're what scarred. Flash was supposed to be. No, I don't believe what none of y'all saying. We'll see it doesn't what, when it comes good. out. Do you think it looks good in the trailer? It doesn't look good to me. I ain't trying to see dude jumping on people, biting them. But he looks silly in the coat with the fur. He, it doesn't look right to me. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm not seeing what other people are seeing. But like when they show him in the classic, the classic fur, I'm like, we'll see. We'll have to. See. I know, but we'll see. We'll see. When is that coming out? December 14th or 16th. It's the Christmas movie this year. But let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the latest with Tom Holland re-upping, getting that bag. I think it's more Everybody's... like a brings truck at this point, but sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> what did he say, Brian? That if I'm playing Spider-Man till I'm 40, something went wrong. Something He said something crazy like that, right? Remember? That's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he got the bag and he can do whatever he wants and make his own movies. He can get into that role. This is how you get to the to do those things, right? Um But yeah. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of Tom Holland re upping. Do you have because right after this, we can't get another Peter Parker, so we definitely get into Miles Morales and in the in the hands of Sony. I I I, I that's a sad situation right there for me. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Day Report. The show goes on! Yeah!